Hey everyone, what's up? Welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I'm gonna be giving you guys my five best tips on how to stay fashionable, chic, super stylish, you name it. But the best part is, you don't have to spend any money in this video. What? You guys heard it here. You're not gonna have to spend any money. These are my five tips and tricks on how I stay super stylish. So I figured I would share them with you guys. I asked on my Instagram a couple of weeks ago what you guys would like to see here on my channel. And a lot of you said how to work with fashion you already have in your closet. I feel you, girl. You don't wanna go out and spend any money. You don't have the money to spend. You know, sometimes we're on a tight budget and I get it. And that is what I bring here on my channel. Bougie on a budget. So these are tips and tricks that are gonna save you money. You don't have to go out and buy anything in this video they're gonna make you instantly feel stylish and fashionable or at least I hope they do these tips help me so if you want to see what it is that I do to help stay a little bit more fashionable and ahead of the game then just keep watching okay so jumping into tip number one this one's probably super simple and probably a no-brainer but it is pre-planning your outfits I don't know what this was but it's pre-planning your outfits I don't know how many times I have been in a hurry and trying to head out the door and have nothing to wear and I usually wait until the last minute to get dressed and Usually my hair and makeup take way too freaking long. I get distracted, you know, I'm singing along to way too many songs. So what I have learned to do that has helped for me tremendously is pre-planning a couple of outfits. Not, don't, you don't have to go crazy if you don't have a lot of clothes. You don't have to like go try and plan a month's worth of outfits. All you need to do is plan two to three that will help save you throughout the week. Have a day, have an hour where you just kind of set aside to be like, okay, let me go through my closet. One one, see what it is that I don't want to wear anymore that's just taking up space and get that out of there. Two, let me see what looks good on this body, okay, and put a couple of pieces you know, towards the front of my closet that I know look great on me, that can pair with different pieces, or let me put two pieces together that's an automatic outfit that I can head out the door, throw on, and go. That is my number, number one tip of advice is pre-planning outfits. Nothing more sucks than like wanting to go somewhere and having plans to go somewhere and having nothing to wear. That freaking sucks. So pre-plan your outfit because when you just throw something on that you don't really like, wherever you're going, I guarantee you, your mood is gonna be a little funky, okay? And nobody wants a funky mood. It's a tip you're gonna wanna hold on to. So tip two is layering accessories. I love accessories. I love a good dainty necklace and I really love to layer necklaces. So I love this trend and I think that it's been in for like a while now, but if they're medallion necklaces, I love gold statement necklaces and I love layering them. I feel like they add so much to t-shirts. If you add on a pair of gold hoops, some bracelets, and a couple of rings, and girl, that's all you need to really just accessorize a super casual outfit. If you're a t-shirt and jean girl, then dainty necklaces like this are your best friend. So layering accessories, whether you put accessories in your hair, whether you go and wear a bunch of you know gold necklaces, put on some bangles, throw on a clutch, layering accessories is key. It is all about the small details, the accessories of the outfit that make the outfit. Your outfit can be super basic, super bland. You can be in a white t-shirt and jeans, honey, but throw on some accessories and that's what makes the outfit. So tip number three for me is like a go-to. I feel like I'm constantly doing this, but it is for me monochromatic it out, okay? So I love monochromatic like outfits. I love pairing the exact same color top with the exact same color bottom and I feel like it's effortless fashion but it instantly makes you look like you have your shit together if you know what I mean it makes you just instantly look super fashionable in my opinion when you just pair both of the exact same color together I'll show you guys a couple of examples but I swear that is my go-to like outfit of choice especially if you look do like the same texture like denim on denim oh my god I'm a sucker for denim on denim leopard on leopard oh my god I love a good double pattern moment I do that with like my sweatpants and like my tank tops I match the exact color and they look so freaking cute together you look so fashionable it looks like you have your shit together again all these tips if you couldn't tell it's like get your shit together okay but they're you know on the low secrets that you didn't really know that you, you could do to like step up your game these are those tips okay since we are now you know reaching the fall time is one of my favorites it is adding a jacket usually most of the time girls are trying to wear their outfit and not have to add 
a jacket because it's so cute and no one wants to ruin it with a jacket, but I promise you nine out of 10 times the jacket is what makes the look, especially if you have a really nice faux leather jacket. Oh my gosh, it pairs well with literally any look. That is definitely a jacket that is worth having in your wardrobe if you do choose to invest in one this fall. I love jackets and since I live in Texas, I don't get to wear them you know, hardly ever. And whenever I get the chance to add a jacket to my outfit, I promise you I do. You don't even have to wear it, even if you just drape it over your shoulders, even if you just throw it in your arm. Girl, it works as an accessory. It seriously is one of those good accessories that you don't even realize that you have in your closet, but it literally makes all the difference to your outfit. I promise you, try draping your jacket over your shoulders. Instantly takes you to high class, honey. Instantly, you know, takes your outfit to a level 10. Even if you were just wearing leggings, a t-shirt, and some sneakers, put a teddy coat on like that one in the back, throw it over your shoulders, and it literally looks like you are just like Victoria Beckham on the go, running errands. It changes the game for the fall time, okay? If you like these tips, guys, I do have like so many more that I live my life by. Let me know in the comments down below and I will totally film some more videos giving you guys, you know, some fashion tips, hacks, tricks, you know, that's what I'm here for. Anyways, tip number five is seriously wear what feels comfortable. You know, I know they say like, Paint, fashion, pain is beauty, no. Fashion is beauty or paint, beauty is pain or whatever the hell they say, which in some aspects, yes, because sometimes, you know, honey, I wanna fit into a dress. Maybe squeezing me a little tight, but if it looks good, I'm gonna rock it. I never wear anything that makes me feel uncomfortable or that doesn't feel true to me. Everything I wear is 100% because I love it, because I'm passionate about it, because I picked it out, because I don't give a shit about what anybody else has to say, to be honest. If you like it, rock it, wear it. If someone else says it's like whack or not like up to their par, up to their standards, or you know, on their trend board, mood board, who the hell cares? Wear it because you wanna wear it, because you feel good, because it makes you feel confident, not because somebody on Instagram said it's whack or because they don't like it, okay? Just a reminder out there for all you people, I know social media takes control these days, so I just wanted to remind people, stay true to yourself. If you like it, rock it, and if you don't, don't wear it. If it's not your trend, you don't have to wear it. So I actually was planning on doing a total of five tips, but I actually have total of six because I just thought of one. Seriously a go-to of mine and it is tucking in your top. Tucking in your top or tying it. So whenever I feel like a top isn't doing anything for me, most of the time I will tuck it into my jeans, tuck it into whatever I can, my leggings, whatever I'm wearing at the time, whether it be my sweatpants. I'm wearing sweatpants right now, literally the top I'm wearing, I tucked it into my sweatpants and it instantly changed the look. I love seriously love tucking my top in and it really does make all the difference and you don't even have to tuck your top in all the way around you can you know tuck it partially in there are so many different ways that you can tuck your top in and make it look so much more fashionable and you just give it some texture you give your outfit some texture without looking you know some so frumpy I especially love to tuck my sweaters into my high-waisted jeans from like the side I will tuck my sweater in just because sometimes I feel so like frumpy and like large and in charge with such a bulky sweater on so I like to go in and tuck it into my jeans and it makes all the freaking difference I promise you if you you know aren't really digging your outfit if you feel like maybe your tops a little oversized try tying it if not tying it if tying it doesn't work try tucking it in and I promise you it's like game changer it instantly levels up your outfit guys, I hope you enjoyed this video if you did let me know in the comments down below and until my next one I will catch you guys later bye